Okay, Greg. Just a second. Kevin. Kevin, hello. Think you can be ready by 7? The prince says 7 is fine. Oh, and tell my daughter she can forget about the Mercedes. <laughs> See you tonight. Morning, Mom. Morning, Pumpkin. Who's that on the phone? Greg, you changed the reservation at 7 now. We always have to do what the good doctor says, don't we? No, the restaurant called and asked me to change it. A chance to pick up my suit at the cleaners? Forgot. I'll do it today. How about the kid's present? Bought and wrapped. And I even remembered to take off the price tag. Is that all you're having for breakfast? Cereal. It's sugar and preservatives and God knows what else. Poison. Well, in that case, uh, you want a bowl? <laughs> yeah, why not? I'll, um, I'll pick some up on the way home. Anyway, I gotta go. Wait a minute. Don't worry, Dad. I'll be ready by tonight. Good luck on your friends, Dad. What French test? Kidding, Dad. Very funny. Everybody in this family is a comedian. Later, Mom. Give me a favor, Kate. Lighten up on Greg, hmm? He's family now. I don't remember casting my vote. Besides, he gives me the creeps. He's always staring at me. I feel like I'm some kind of science experiment. He's a good kid. And Carrie married him, haven't you? She's only 19. Her brain's not developed yet. You were 20. That was different. How so? I was a lot more mature. I gotta go. I'm late. Take it easy at lunch today, huh? Party's tonight. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna have fun. And you can be the designated worrier. I am huh? so sorry. I'm late. I had a little quiet emergency, but just two minutes and I'll be with you. Uh -huh. Good morning, Mr. Soleil. Good morning. Right. I'll arrange it. Yeah. Gonna... Could you just excuse me sure, yeah. for just a second here? Good morning. What is it this time? Uh, jam up on the freeway. <laughs> jam up on the freeway. <laughs> Better? Much. 
All right, let's party. This morning, when he told me how intimidated he was by all the computers in his office, he did a complete 180 on the high-tech look and pitched him fine instead. He loved it. Uh, she shoots, she scores. So how's the interning going, Rick? Great. Sometimes they let him sleep, what, two, three hours a month? <laughs> Tell them about Mrs. Wall. Well, this is one feisty 80-year-old, and she keeps trying to punch out anybody that comes near her. And she keeps escaping from the hospital. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You tell it. Well, this morning there was a, a code blue from her room, and I'm running down the hall yelling stat to anybody who'll listen to me. And I get to her room, and you know what I find? You won't believe this. Oh, I'm sorry. Mrs. Wolf, halfway down the fire escape, stark naked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's a scary picture. What'd you do? Well, I, I finally managed to talk her back inside, but uh, a cardiac patient one floor down spotted her outside his window. He nearly had to go back to the ICU. <laughs> <laughs> this is a toast to Dr. and Mrs. Ramsey. Uh, on the occasion of the first and last six-month anniversary. Uh, what do you mean last? No more celebrating every six months. You wait a full year like everybody else. <laughs> God forbid we should have to buy two presents. Daddy's right. I mean, we're really not newlyweds anymore. It's not true. You're newlyweds till you feel you're not newlyweds. Like your father and I. Anyway, to the weds. So, uh, Kevin, have you chosen a college yet? I'm not sure. We've, we've been talking about it. What my son is trying to tell you is that there's a slight difference of opinion among his parents. Right, Hal? Don't do this. I want Kevin to have the best education he can possibly have, and his father doesn't. It's not fair, damn it. I just think it'd be better if Kevin picks a local school and lives at home. Why? Because it's cheaper. We've got some very fine schools in this area. And they're cheaper. Look, last month I laid off four more workers. Good people worked hard for me. Until the economy turns around, I intend to be cautious. My case. Would anyone like another drink? Thanks. No, I think we better order dinner. Could you send the waiter over? Vodka on the rocks, please. I think you've had enough, don't you? With a twist. Anyone else? No, that's it. <clears throat> that's it. That's the look I was talking about. Mom, what are you talking about? Nothing, baby. Sometimes your mother gets a little paranoid, that's all. I'm not paranoid. Keep your voice down, will you? You're making a fool of yourself. <laughs> First, I'm paranoid, then I'm a fool. What the hell are you looking at? Nothing, Kate. I think we should just try to calm down here and enjoy the rest of the evening, all right? Well, I think you ought to shut up and mind your own business. That's what I think. Mother? I had to have those two drinks before we left. God knows how many you had at lunch. Back off, Hal. Dad, please. Stop it, Kate. Just stop it. Hey, I ordered a drink here about an hour ago. I'm sorry, ma'am. Here it is. Happens every time, doesn't it? No, take that back. Oh, 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 now, nobody drinks. Give me the parking ticket. No way. Give me the parking ticket. Have a nice dinner. Ooh, nice soup, folk. Dad, don't let her go, please. Nothing I do makes a difference. I'm just going to make sure she's okay. Bye. Back inside, please. I know when I'm not wanted. Go on, enjoy the party. What are you looking at? Five 
drive, just go and leave me alone. Hey, please don't let her go. She's had too much to drink. Ma'am, are you sure you're okay? for work again. I don't see any balloons, so who died? Would you please sit down, Kate? Not until you tell me what's going on here. Please, Mom, just sit down. It'll be easier on everybody. Well, do I get sworn in or what? Look, this isn't easy for any of us, Kate, so cut the jokes. We've got some serious things to talk about here. So? Talk. It's just that uh, we've all been through an awful lot of painful stuff lately, and we think you could use some help. Help? Some professional help. Really? With what? You know very well with what. The drinking problem. My drinking problem? <laughs> You're kidding me. You see anybody here smiling? Yeah, me. Because the only one here with a problem, Hal, is you. Not me. Get it? 
Please, Kay, just try to listen. You become an alcoholic. No, Hal, you listen. I am not an alcoholic. We think you are. Carrie. You drink too much, Mother. Great. You're on his side again. This isn't about sides. Just take a look at yourself. You're barely functioning lately. What are you talking about? I'm functioning absolutely fine. I go to work. I make my bed. I make the dinner. I do the laundry. I listen to you whine about business all night. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm fine. I don't need any help. What do you want from me? I need the Kate I fell in love with. The one I married. It seems like I blinked. She was gone. Well, blink again, Hal. I'm still here. You're just too busy selling your fancy fabrics to notice. No, I'll tell you what happened, Kate. She fell down the, the neck of a damn bottle of vodka. Well, if you wanted the perfect little wife, why didn't you marry your mother? Well, sit down. Sit down. Right now. Ooh, no, damn it. Power oh, move. Oh, I'm very impressed. I'm listening. All right, this is the way it is. We talked to Dr. Gold. He agrees. You're going for treatment at Valley View Center. Come on. Forget it. We packed you a bag. This isn't negotiable. You'll go tonight. Tonight? Or what? I've talked to an attorney, and I guarantee I'll make your life so miserable you'll wish you were dead. I don't believe this. I'll have you declared an unfit mother, and that won't be hard. Now with the testimony of your own children. Kevin. Sorry, Mom. Why do you all want to punish me? We're not trying to punish you, Mom. We're trying to save your life. I've learned all about alcoholism from Greg. It's a terminal disease. I might have known you'd be the one behind all this. Let me tell you something, you little son of a bitch. I am not, I repeat, not an alcoholic. Regardless of how you feel about me, Kate, I think you should seek treatment now before there's irreversible physiological damage. Piss off! Kate. I'll cut down. How many of those promises already, Kate? Has it been that bad? What do you want him to say? This is pathetic. You make me sound like some slobbering, fall-down drunk who needs to be locked up. Not locked up. Help. What about you, Hal? Huh? What about that DUI that you had not too very long ago, huh? How very convenient of you to forget about that now. And what about you, Nora? You drink, I know. We drink together. And what about the diet pills that you've been taking for years now? Don't those count anymore? Come on, Kate. It's not like that, and you know it. You're all a bunch of hypocrites. You know that? You all drink. Kate, I just see. stop it. Stop it. You hear me? Just, this isn't about us. It's about you, and you're going to have to deal with it. I mean this. If you don't go for treatment, I walk with Kevin. There'll be no visiting, no contact, nothing. Fine. Walk. Still got a job. I've got a few friends. I'll be fine. Okay. There is no job. So we let you go. I don't believe this. And I'm, I'm really sorry, but unless you get some help, I'm, I'm afraid I, I can't see you anymore. And you won't be welcome at our house either, Kate. your little clinic. I'll go through the motions. I'll be a good little girl. Thank you. 
please. Just for a minute. Do you love me? We all do, Kate. Looks like a pretty decent place. Used to be a convent. Great, I suppose you're hoping I'll become Mother Teresa. Please. Just so things can get back to normal. Oh, fine. Let's just get it over with. So I'd say you can expect to complete inpatient therapy in about four weeks. Your family will join you for a few days during the third week. What for? This is a family disease, Mrs. Bannister. And after you leave here, there's an extensive aftercare program that you'll have to follow if you want to remain sober. Look, Doctor, I'm not even interested in before, so don't try and pitch me after, all right? Well, perhaps you'll change your mind. Don't hold your breath. First, you'll have a physical. Then I'll have your roommate, Annie, get you settled. The nurse will give you something to see you through detox, but you start the program immediately. All right. Just show me to my cell. Hi. Women are on this floor. Uh, men are upstairs. Sucks, don't it? Some of the wards are off limits, so you gotta be sure and read the signs. Uh, no visitors or phone calls for the first five days. Two hours of TV on the weekends only. Um, meal times are 7.30, noon, and 6. And then you gotta be there hungry enough because they get really uptight if you, you know, if you isolate and feel sorry for yourself and stuff like that. Prisoners have a riot. Yeah. They just hose us down and give us cigarettes, and uh, that usually shuts us up. Here we go. Sweet number eight, that's why it's so great. This is your bed, it's mine, your desk, your bureau, and your AA book, which you gotta make sure you read, because if you don't, they're gonna make you eat all these hot jalapeno peppers, so far you gotta read it. And the closet we share. Yes, sir. You're a smart one, huh? I'd like to think so. You know, you're just like a newcomer. Kind of waltzing in here, thinking you know the whole damn score. You're a diddly squat. Yeah? Well, I know I don't like you. How's that? I'm not so sure I'm crazy about you, either. Take it from a vet who's out of here in ten days. Staying clean one day at a time. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes and ears open. And maybe you're gonna learn something. Yeah? And what did you learn? That I'm a crackhead with one little coffee-colored foot right in the grave. And I better stay clean, or I don't win my two kids back. I'm not gonna get another job or a place to live. Mm. You got fired too, huh? <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? With these babies? Honey, I was working for the big bucks, dancing up a storm till I came in here. They told me it wasn't uh, socially acceptable. You know what I mean? Yeah. So how did you end up in here? You really want to know? Yeah. These are my kids. That's Maria. And that's Andy. Don't even ask about the father, okay? Pretty, ain't they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> they make me laugh, man. Best thing I ever did. Still haven't answered my question. I beat Andy up. He had to go to the hospital. Six years old, you know. Little brat had the nerve to wake up screaming at like. Two o'clock in the morning, you know? Something about a nightmare or something. What the hell do you do with that, you know? You're all coked up. So you punch him out, right? You bust a couple of ribs. I could have cut off my hands. I'm sorry. Hi, Annie. Uh, hey, Jan. Uh, Jan, this is uh, Kate. Hi. This your stuff, Kate? 
Yeah. Could you open that one up for me, please? Jan's a head nurse here. She wants to check it out and make sure you don't have any booze or drugs or anything. Any stashed in the People really try and smuggle stuff in here. And mouthwash bottles, toothpaste tubes, perfume atomizers, and bodily cavities. They'll hide it anywhere. That's the rather intimate physical when I first arrived. That's the first place they check. No, no, I need those to sleep. And these to wake up. Exactly the reason I'm taking them away. You can pick up your prescribed medication at the nurse's station three times a day. We don't want you getting the DTs or convulsions. Give me a break. You make me sound like some kind of addict. Gee, now why would we want to do that? That makes 160 million drinkers in the country and 10% have the potential to become clinically defined alcoholics. And ladies, it works much faster on you than it does on men. You don't break down the alcohol as efficiently as men do. More of it is released into your bloodstream than theirs. Ever heard the expression, she's a cheap drunk? <laughs> That's why. Nobody knows why we're drunks. Maybe it's because we can't metabolize the stuff quick enough. Just take your pill? Maybe it's genetic. No. <clears throat> Whatever the reason, from the take your pill. there is lying Calm about the drinking. What I really need drinking, is a drink. The drink. Girl, you just don't get Again, it, do you? It's important for you to know take that these are natural okay. human reactions to having this problem. You'll always have the disease. But at least taking better care of ourselves makes us easier to live with. Now, others don't have to worry quite so much about us. Far from being selfish, Boy, I really letting go that. with love is for many people the first step towards genuine self-respect. Did you have your last drink last night? But, but believe me, remember, it wasn't my last drink. Alcoholism has no cure. You can look forward to cirrhosis, brain damage, suicide, whatever. Drunks die, period. Thanks for your attention. Good luck up there. thought you were too good to go through withdrawal or something. It's not with drugs. The flu. Can't stop sweating, right? Itching all over. Shaking like a vibrator on a Monday night. Go back to sleep. Joints ache. Your stomach hurts. You feel like you're gonna puke all over the place. Uh -oh. Give it a rest. There you go. That proves it's withdrawal. Feeling an ass is the number one symptom. <laughs> Come on, get back to bed. Come on. Come on. There you go. I'll get your leg up there. Come on. You're gonna be okay. You're lucky. You got it mild. Me? I almost died. Yep. You one lucky white woman. There you go. How's that? Listen. I know it hurts, so 
okay? But you just gotta hang in there. It's gonna get better. Step in a few days. You gonna eat that bacon? I'm always afraid to ask. What's the first step? It's to see how powerless over booze we are. And we gotta put the plug in the jug. You like write down all the bad stuff that happened to you because of drinking and using. Did I take off for spelling? I don't think so. If that's what they want, then that's what they'll get. There's only one catch. Can't lie. <laughs> I was gonna know. Hey, it's all a mistake that I'm in here anyway. It's my husband's fault. He convinced everyone I was a drunk. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, Pam, who needs a new man, then you face him. Only if you face my husband. Is he cute? I don't know. I ain't never seen him sober. <laughs> it's okay. What do you think about Valley View so far? It's what I live for. He talks in pretty bad. And I quote, this too shall pass. You should have seen me. I had to get rid of the booze, the coke, and these little purple pills my boyfriend gave me. I'm not sure what they were, but they were really pretty. They were like this purplish. That's okay, baby. Oh, you got it. Forget it. You know, I still miss my burger. Oh, yes, I miss that. And man. Shoot, I'd rather have the burger. It's cheaper. Keeps you just as warm. And when you're done, you just throw the bottle away. No questions asked. <laughs> I know the difference between Athens, Greece, and Athens, Georgia. It's not right. When the teacher's higher than the students. <laughs> Did it ever cross your mind that you were an alcoholic? No. Only same way I could deal with a room full of 10 year olds. You're doing what you're doing, you keep getting what you're getting. Kate, do you have any opinion about what Pam just said? Well, she said that she drank sometimes too much under pressure, but that doesn't make her an alcoholic, does it? What about you, Kate? Do you think you're an alcoholic? No, I don't. Okay, well, good. But this is about your sixth day here. I think it's time that we heard your first step. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. My First Step by Kate Bannister. <laughs> All right, right, so I drink a little. <laughs> well, um, I have a drink at lunch now and again. Not all the time, once in a while. Look, 
I know I can overdo it. I mean, who can't? <laughs> but I do intend to do something about it. Okay? Well, you're the only one that can make that decision. I understand that. But I have to tell you something, and maybe you're going to jump all over me for saying it, but I really think my family overreacted about this whole thing. You know, if I were a man, it would be no big deal if I got out of line now and then. You know? I mean, I think there's a real double standard going on here. You got that right. Well, she's dead on about the double standard. You can have it a hell of a lot easier. But I think that everything else she said was a bunch of crap. Right. So far, it's blame, blame, blame. It doesn't look that way. What, do you think I'm lying? No, no. Uh, I think... I think you're denying. That comes with the territory. I don't see that you're in any position to think anything about me, since you don't know anything about me. But we do know things, Kate. Really? Here it comes. What's that supposed to mean? That is supposed to mean that your little whitewashed walls are about to come tumbling down. Well, at least I never put one of my kids in the hospital. That's you something, little bitch. It? Well, maybe you should, because maybe then you'd know who's got Sit the down. problem. Oh, really? She is dissing everybody but herself. Sit down, please. Sit down. Things are worse than that, Kate. Really? You know what you did just now? You painted a touching picture of a woman who sometimes lets her drinking get a little bit out of control, right? That's right. Yes. Well, why didn't you tell us that sometimes you're so hungover that you can't get out of bed until noon? Oh, because that... That you've lost your job. Oh, come on. You didn't tell us that you were too drunk to attend Kevin's junior high school graduation. Or about insulting your husband's clients or passing out at Carrie's wedding reception. You know, if you've forgotten some of this stuff, that means that you've had blackouts. That's just more proof that you've got this disease. Isn't it true that most of your friends have dropped you in hell? And that you've had three car accidents in the last two years. You stole money from Carrie's purse to buy alcohol. Kevin says that last year he had some friends over. And you staggered downstairs half naked. Just giggled while his friends stood there and gawked at you. He said, I almost died because I was so ashamed. program a chance. Program? It's more like an inquisition. What is, it's, it's just too tough for you, so you're just gonna quit? What the hell do you care, anyway? I need you, okay? Kate. Kate! I need you to help me. I need... I need you to help me to prove to me that it can be done, even when it hurts like hell. All right? We all need each other to get through this. You have to get through it without me, that's for sure. Look, just make me a deal, okay? All right. If, if, just hang in there one more week, and if it's still hurting, I will take you home myself. No, I'm sorry. You can't just say no, I'm sorry, buddy. Yes, I can. No. Give us a hand. 
What should I do? <laughs> you go away. Leave me alone. All of you, get away from me. Leave me alone. night. I went by her room this morning. It was empty. I hope to God she's all right. She's not. You can bet she's in a better place. I'm not sure I believe that. <laughs> believe what? In God. Uh-oh. Someone call an exorcist. It's not easy to have faith today, you know? I mean, try watching the news sometime. Oh, thanks. I'd rather have a root canal. Well, that's my point. What kind of God would allow things like that to happen? Well... I think you have to look at the good there is in the world, too. I mean, if you can see the good, then you can believe. And we all need something to believe in, right? Otherwise, like, what's the point? Well, that's what I think, anyway. Shoot. I got to go home. The girl is actually starting to make sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies, that's it for today. No, 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 no. Don't you see, Kate? We all need something to help us get through it, right? Uh, something that's, that's more powerful than ourselves. You know, like a higher power. You know, God as we understand him. And it can be anything at all, as long as it doesn't hurt us. I thought I found him in my third husband. <laughs> I mean, look, look. One, two, three, four, five. Five recovering addicts, right? Five recovering addicts together have more power than one recovering addict by himself, right? Right on. Right. So, see, you can take all five of them meeting together and use that as your source of inspiration or your power. Pam, what's yours? Besides Jesus? Mm -hmm. Little Richard. <laughs> Here you go. Perfect, right? Yes. I mean, anything at all. If it works, work it. Okay. Right? What about you, Doreen? Robert Goulet. I'm sorry. He really does it for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's. okay? That's what I'm talking about. See, it can be anything at all. It can be a singer, uh, whatever. It could be a book, a painting, your kids, a place you go to. Robert what a... So what do you think? I don't like the look on your face, Kate. I don't know. I don't know.
Joyous and free. No, 26 and a size 5. <laughs> I know you'll make it out there. Take good care, Annie. I'll miss you. tell you, after knowing you the past three weeks and listening to your sayings, you're an inspiration to me, and I am grateful for having known you. God bless you, girl. Okay, well, you all know I'm not very good with speeches and stuff, so I just want to say thank you. And, um, I'll see you on the outside. Mm. Hey, Annie, since this is your last day in here, why don't you lead us in the serenity prayer, huh? God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. before, haven't you? Well, that was then, and now is now, and it's different. You just have to learn to trust me. Trust? When did you ever give us reason to trust you? For the last seven years. Daddy, please. I'm sorry. This isn't getting us anywhere. No, this is exactly why you're here. Kate's got to know how you feel. She's got to know how angry you are. She put us through hell. Tell her. It's true. I'd come home never knowing whether you were going to be sober or passed out. If you weren't there, I imagined a car wreck and you in the hospital, maybe even dead. There was no way to live. How? Yeah, I think the worst thing you did was you robbed the kids of a mother during a time when they really needed one. And I needed a wife. I haven't had one in a long time, Kate. Kevin? Gary? I think uh, you should tell your mother some of the things that you told me. Carrie? Well, I... I always thought it was my fault. 
Oh, no, honey. No, Mom, I did. I thought the more I messed up, then the more you drank. But the more you drank, the more I messed up. So I kept running away. <sighs> tell me something. And tell me the truth. Is the reason that you got married so quickly, was it to get away from me? Yes. Oh, honey. You weren't responsible. Nobody was responsible. Not even you? Did you ever think about how I felt? All those times I had to undress you? Put you to bed? I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to mix your drinks. I don't want to clean up your messes. It was so humiliating. I mean, you come to parents' meetings. So wasted, you could hardly see. doesn't mean much to you right now, but I am truly sorry. I love you all so much. Be my new roommate. <laughs> you mean cellmate? Mm, yeah. <laughs> A little what <like> that? <laughs> A little? I just got frisked by the matron. But she missed this. It's not um, cool in here. What are you going to do? Arrest me? I don't like it. Yeah, well, it's no big deal. What well, is to me? I don't need that kind of temptation in my life right now. Oh, come on, lighten up. You know, this is my third time in one of these stupid places. Court orders. Well, I'm trying to make it work. Yeah? Well, get a life. This place isn't going to work for you. Forget it. It's just a big fake. One of those phony Mexican cancer cures. It's just a big scam so a few people can get rich. That's all. That's for you. That's for you. This is for me. Ooh, she's got 21. 21 shorn, yeah. Okay, what's what's phone one? call. Get 21 shorn. Oh, well, that makes it. Well, it can be a one. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true. Hello. Kate, it's Annie. Annie. Hi, how are you? This is good. Why, what's the matter? The bastard said I couldn't have my kids back. Who? Who said that? The kid's father. And his damn lawyer, that's me. He said. I haven't proven I'm a fit mother yet. Do you want me to call my attorney? No, no, no. I don't know. Um, I just don't know what to do. Annie. Annie? Yeah, yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. This is Gaga. There's somebody waiting. You used to use the phone and stuff, so um, I'm going to go, okay? And um. I'll call you later. All right. But Annie, call soon. Okay. Someone, Kate.
floor. Well, I've, um... I've been thinking. Look out. Go on, go on. If it's okay, I'd like to, uh, do my first step again. Everything my family said was true. I don't remember some of it, but I'm sure it happened. There's one thing, though, that they didn't put down. They didn't know about it, so they... I'm not sure I'm ready for this. Maybe I'll do it the next time, all right? Gabe, there aren't any judges in here. I know. Would you be ashamed to tell us about a, a, a cancer symptom? It's a disease, remember? You can do it, girl. Thanks. Last year, I, um... I dropped into this bar. I don't remember where it was. Anyway, I had a couple of drinks, and, um... Next thing I knew, I woke up naked in a dirty motel bed with this disgusting man lying next to me, snoring. He put some money on the nightstand next to my purse. Whoa. Oh, go on. Go on, please. I didn't know what to do. I've never been so scared or so ashamed in all my life. I threw on my clothes and I got out of there before he got up. I still don't know what really happened. I'm just terrified I'm going to run into him sometime. Still didn't know I had a drinking problem. Take a stab at your first step. Well, uh. Okay. But do I have to top that? <laughs> <laughs> yourself the priority. Everybody else comes second. That's your husband, your kids, your work, everything, at least for a while. First things first. And don't try going it alone. Get a sponsor. I had a very rocky time in the beginning. I almost blew it. I'll go to a meeting as soon as I get home. That's good. And remember that even though we're not drinking, we are still alcoholics. Good luck. Bless you.
much longer. I'll keep you awake. Away, could you? I wasn't really sleepy. I bet. There's nothing more important to do, right? I thought I'd read for a while. It's water. How the hell was I supposed to know? shoulder was usually the floor. <laughs> it was Sunday, and I was down at the bar, you know, just having a couple of beers, watching a football game. I came back uh, about four o'clock, I guess, and my son was standing out on the lawn in his little league uniform with his glove. And he said, Dad, where have you been? You were supposed to take me to the game. What could I do? He jumped in the car, and uh, I never did see that stop sign. I never saw the pickup truck, either. And I'm sure it's the last thing my little boy ever saw. My wife did leave me after that. I loved her. Well, that was 1986. And I've been sober, and I've been coming here ever since. But what I'm saying to you is remember this. Keep coming back, OK? Because it works. It works. Kate Wyckoff. Uh, it's Kate Bannister now. I'm sorry, do I know you? Suzanne Cobb. McMullen High. Oh, no! Oh, oh for heaven's sake. Uh, Mr. Newton's homeroom. He was always trying to look up the girls' dresses. Yeah, and Dolly Miller used to lend. <laughs> Is this your first time? The show, huh? So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just a little. <laughs> so. How long have you been sober? I just got out of a treatment center. Valley View. No kidding. I went there, too. Really? Yeah. What are your first impressions? It's not as bad as I imagined. 
How long for you? Twelve years. Wow. And you're still coming back? Don't you get bored? Oh, yeah. Lots of things bore me. They just don't keep me sober. You know, tell me if I'm out of line, but they told me that I should get a sponsor as soon as I could. Me? Oh, I don't know if I'm your best bet. My life is really hectic and... But I know you, sort of. And if that'd be a start. I promise I'm going to go to as many meetings as I possibly can. They told me 90 meetings in 90 days, right? Yeah, but... Isn't the whole point of this that we need to support each other? Okay. You got yourself a sponsor. All right. Who's winning? You or Mario? You got a minute? Okay. You, know, you and I haven't had much of a chance to talk since I got back. There's some things I'd like to say to you. Oh, it's all right. No, it's not all right. I've had to face some stuff in the last month, and I'd like to share what I learned with you. I have a disease. That's what alcoholism is. It's a disease. My mother had it. My grandfather had it. It runs in our family. That's something I want you to be very aware of. It made me say and do some pretty terrible things in the last few years. I forgive you. You always did. That was part of the problem. It was like you were the parent and I was the child. No matter what I did, no matter how bad I got, you were always there for me. And I love that about you. But now it's time for you to have your mother back. It's time for you to be a little boy again. <laughs> All right. Not so little. I really missed you. Everything all right down here? Yes, everything's fine. Good. We better hurry. I'm not sure they'll hold the reservation. I'll get it. Hello. You know, I couldn't find the right time. Yeah, this is she. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be right there. Hal, I'm sorry. I can't go. What do you mean you can't go? This is business. Barton's are probably waiting for us at the restaurant. A friend of mine is in trouble. I've got to go to her. What friend? A girl from the center. Why do you have to go? I just told you she's my friend. And what am I? Hal, <sighs> come on. First you go to an AA meeting every single day. And now this. You've gone from one obsession to another. When does it end? When do you fit me in? I'm sorry. This is more important right now. They found your name and number in her purse. How's she doing? She's had a crack cocaine induced heart attack. I don't think we'll really know anything until the morning. She's in there. Thank you.
He's gone. Satisfied? what you think. I'm leaving. And you couldn't tell me that face to face. You had to sneak out while I was gone. That was a mistake. I apologize. But when I got home last night and you still weren't there, well, I decided it was time. Time? I haven't been sober in six years. And now that I'm finally among the living and we have a real chance to make our marriage work, you pack up and leave now? Hey, our marriage died years ago. Really? Well, tell me when that happened. Was it during one of those really special times when I was passed out with my head in the toilet? Stop it. I don't know when it happened. It just did. Look, do we have to go through all this? I think you owe me that much. Don't you? Okay. It's just that for years now, you haven't been the kid I married. With somebody else, another woman. And I didn't love that other woman. I didn't even like her very much. But that woman is gone. I buried her. There's someone else, isn't there? Doesn't matter, you're an owner. Customer. When did you meet her? Two and a half years. He needed someone. You weren't there. You've had another woman for two and a half years. How did I miss that? That's an easy one to answer. Why didn't you leave a long time ago? How could I? You seemed to find a way last night. Yeah, well, I couldn't leave you while you were sick. I was afraid of what you might do. But now it's okay. Yes, I think it is. Because I'm sober. Because I think you're strong enough to handle it now. You don't have a clue what I can handle. In fact, you don't know a damn thing about me. Kate, please. I wish you'd have walked out a long time ago. Maybe it would have forced me into treatment then. Maybe not. But at least we wouldn't have lived a lie for so long, wasted so much time. I thought I was doing the right thing. The kids were still young. You know what really makes me sick? We promised to stay together in sickness and in health. And now that I'm finally healthy again, you walk 22 years of marriage and I'm dismissed like some temporary secretary. I don't love you anymore, Kate.
No. Carrie, she was really upset. But it's 4.30. Her sponsor called, said Mom left three messages for her. Yeah, yeah, she's on her way here now. All right. Yeah, okay, hurry up. Bye. Hello, uh, this is Kate Bannister again. I've left several messages for Suzanne Cobb. And... Well, when did she pick them up? And she didn't leave any word for me. All right. No. Thanks. Hey, Mrs. Bannister, how have you been? What's it going to be, the usual? You got it. circumstances, but we've got to find your mother. Do you have any idea where she is? No, but I called Nora, and she gave me a list of Mom's favorite restaurants, and they all have bars. Well, we better hit the phones. That's all right. Thank you. That's it. I think we should call the hospital. Kate, I'm uh, sorry. I finally got your messages. We've, uh... We've been worried sick. We had no idea where you were. What's that? This, my dear. A little reminder of what could be. The ghost of Christmas future. If I don't stay sober. It's okay. I didn't drink. Really? For now. That's as good as it gets. Thanks for being here. Oh, hey, no problem. Sponsors never sleep. I'll call you later. Thanks for coming. 
I'd like you to come over for a time. I think you kids are dry. Thanks. You went to see Dad, huh? Yeah. Is he coming back? No. There's someone else in his life now, has been. For quite some time. I don't believe that. Well, I do. I had a feeling for a long time now. Who is she? I don't know. I don't think you guys know her, though. I hate him. Don't hate him. He's your father. I'll hate him. Mom. I always knew everything I did in this life had some kind of price to me. Just never imagined it would be this high. Some changes around here, you know. Oh, we gotta talk more. We have to be more open. And there's a group. It's called Al-Anon. Yeah, Carrie and I discussed that. He is a good one. <laughs> Celebrating 30 days of sobriety? How about 60 days? Got the chips ready and waiting. Anybody been clean and sober for 60 days? Come on up. My name is Kate, and I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Kate. 